Hey, what is going on everybody? I am Nick Push. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, thank you again. I appreciate you guys as always. Got kind of a unique video planned for today. So it's regarding Halloween ends. I made a tweet the other day um, and I kind of asked for feedback from all different kinds of Halloween fans on what they want to see in Halloween ends. So what I'm going to do is this is just impromptu today. I, have, I didn't really plan it out, didn't really read too much into what people were saying. I'm going to read what they said and I'm going to kind of give my thoughts on it and then we'll go from there. Uh, a couple things you can do though first. Number one, tell me what you want to see in Halloween ends down in the comments section. Uh, that's where I get a lot of ideas for future videos and uh, I love the interactions that I have with all you guys. Um, so commenting on vid vids are awesome for me and for the channel. And also do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't uh, already. A lot of good Halloween end shit coming up uh, throughout this year and uh, a lot of more horror shit uh, as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here's a tweet I made. I wrote, calling all Halloween fans. I need your help, please. I will be discussing this on a future YouTube video. I'm asking you to comment one thing you want to see in Halloween Ends. So, most people didn't write a paragraph, they just gave me one thing that they wanted, and we're just going to get into it. I'm going to read what they wrote. I'm not going to give any names or anything like that. I'm going to try not to, because um, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Um, so I'm just going to kind of read what they wrote and talk about it. So. First one, um, you know, uh, we we get some jokers in here too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read what they said, even if it's stupid. Um, speaking of stupid, this first person wrote, "Michael Myers talking." Yeah, not gonna happen. Although, although there was that rumor uh, in Halloween Kills, I don't know if you guys saw it, that he was mumbling something. I think he, people were saying he was mumbling, "Give it back!" after Her after Karen took his mask. Not gonna happen. At least I fucking hope it doesn't happen. Um, luckily, the ones in the rumor in Halloween Kills was just that a rumor. Michael Myers talking um, ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry, my friend. Next, wrote someone wrote to finally see a true end to the series. Either Michael or Lori, or even both of them, need to die. Yeah, I would 100% agree with that. Um, we we need a true end. You know, it's not gonna end the franchise. But it's gonna end. We need an end to this timeline and to this story. We have to, we have been told everything we can possibly know about this um, incarnation incarnation of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. You know, we've had how many different versions of Laurie Strode? Let's end it. So I agree with that person. Another person wrote, "I would love to get more character development as far as Laurie and Tommy." Well, Tommy's not gonna happen, but. I feel like they didn't quite explore in Kills. I have no idea if Lori kept in contact with him or not. Uh, also, I'd love to see more of Allison in this one, and I really hope Karen didn't survive. So, a few things to unpack there. Number one, um, um, I think I'm reading this right now. So she was saying um, she wants more character development as far as Lori and Tommy, and that they didn't explore it in Kills, and she didn't know if they kept in contact. So I think that's a good point. Um, when Tommy rushed into the hospital room in Halloween Kills, you know, he basically said to Lori, you know, you saved me 40 years ago, now I'm going to save you, or s something like that, I'm paraphrasing. Um, but she's right, we didn't know if they kept in contact with each other. Um, from everything we saw, Haddonfield was a small town, we know Tommy and Lindsay and Lonnie um, all got together, and Marion, they all got together and had a drink uh, every night, or presumably every night on Halloween night for 40 years. Um, to not really celebrate, to, but, but to commemorate them surviving what happened in 1978. We have no idea if Lori was ever a part of that or if her and Tommy were close or not. So as far as more character development, I'm with her. I think we should see more character development, and I think we will, mostly because, um, you know, it's not going to be some balls-to-the-wall crazy, or at least from, from what I understand, uh, Halloween ends is not going to be as balls to the wall crazy as kills. So I 100% agree with that. More character development. I'm, I'm with you. Alright, next person. For Lori to actually have a life after Michael ends and more Lindsay. 
I'm really high on Kyle Richards and really enjoy the nostalgia of people coming back. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely for more Lindsay, 100%. Um, I thought Kyle Richards did a nice job, and I thought of all the legacy characters, she was given the most to do, and it makes sense that they are bringing her back. So I'm with the more Lindsay, and I think we will get more Lindsay from everything I've seen. For Lori to have an actual life after Michael, that will be tricky. I guess that'll all be that'll all be dependent on if Lori survives, which I think at this point is 50-50. If she does survive, I agree with you. I'd like her to, you know, them to show, you know, that she's gonna be finally be able to move on, to let it rest, to let it be. So so I'm with you. Alright, I'm gonna read some more of these. Someone writes, I hope it never ends. Just reboot it all over again in a few years. Well, I think you will probably get your wish. Uh, this property and the character of Michael Myers, the brand of this franchise, um, will always be there. You know, it's going to be like Frankenstein or The Mummy, um, Dracula, you know, where there's always going to be new reboots all the time. So, so you, you will get your wish there. Um, this person writes a big body count. I want Michael to officially beat Jason's record. Couple of things there. Number one, I don't think we're going to get a huge body count, especially not as big as we got in Halloween Kills, which I actually expected a little more in Halloween Kills, um, but we can't deny that there was a pretty big body count, especially when you factor in the firefighters and all that shit. I don't think we're going to get that in this movie because from what we know, it's more contained, right? Um, I'm hoping we get more stalking and things like that. Personally, I don't really care about body count, so to speak. Um, but it's a slasher movie set in the year 2022 and coming out in 2022. We're going to get a body count, guys. That's kind of what the audience expects in the way they make movies nowadays. So I, th I think you'll get your wish. It might not be as big as Halloween Kills, um, but you'll get your wish. All right, here is a good one, I think. I'd like it if ends opens where kills ended. Michael walks out of the Myers house like he walked out of Laurie's burning house, stops in the same spot as in 63 and 78, puts his hands up and surrenders to the shock of everyone there. Well, my friend, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Michael surrender. Um, I didn't want to see it in the flashback in Kills, but I was okay with the way... It was filmed and the symbolism there. I, I, I was fine with that. But as far as Michael surrendering, you know, later that night after, you know, he kills Karen up there, uh, not going to happen. Because um, then we have to worry about, you know, you know, he's locked up again for four years, right? Because it's a, there's the time jump. He's locked up again. And then what? He escapes again. You know, we've, we've done that a million times. So we've got to do something different. Um, this person writes... Um, a role for Danielle Harris. How cool would it be in three timelines? Oh, I know the Danielle Harris question, guys. Everybody wants Danielle Harris. I know, and I'm a big Jamie Lloyd fan. I'm a big Danielle Harris fan. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want it. It doesn't make sense. It will be distracting to me. Um, so... I, I don't want her in the movie. I don't want her playing Jamie Lloyd in the movie. I don't want her playing um, a librarian in the movie. I don't want her playing woman that walks by Laurie Strode in the movie. I love Danielle Harris, but I don't want her. Um, this person writes, an ending, at least in this timeline, I feel like there are more stories to tell, not so much the shape, but the evil that consumes him. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that's interesting, you know. Um, the, the evil that consumes him is, is very interesting. That'd be, that'd be an interesting way to go. I'm not sure creatively how they would do that. Um, but I, I'd, I'd be open to hearing the suggestions. Uh, this person, ooh, I like this one. An ominous closing narrative by Donald Pleasance's Dr. Loomis. That would be cool. Um, you know, maybe they could piece together certain parts from different things he's, he's said throughout the other movies uh, to make it coherent and to kind of provide some closure uh, a little bit and also, you know, hit the message that evil is still out there. Um, you know, they could use some stuff maybe from some of the, the TV cuts, you know, lots of different things. So I, I like that. 
Um, this person writes, I need to see Lori kicking ass one last time and also a tilt of the head. <laughs> I think we will get both of those. Um, as far as Lori kicking ass one last time, whew, it's tough because she's pushing 70 now. Maybe. Maybe what she was uh, 17 in the original, 40 years later. Puts us at 57, four years later. Okay, so she's at, you know, she's in her 60s. Okay, so yeah, okay, so is Myers, right? So, so yeah, I, I think we'll get a head tilt, and I think we will get Lori kicking ass one more time. All right, this person writes, what I want to see is Lori getting a happy ending she deserves after all she went through and Michael finally being at peace but not dead. I don't really want to see them murder each other uh, or one of them die. Okay, let's unpack this here. Lori get a happy ending. Okay, we kind of talked about that. Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd be fine if Lori survives getting a happy ending. Um, you know, showing that she can move past the trauma of what happened to her. Um, and then also Michael finally being at peace but not dead. Ugh. I don't know if we'll see that. Um, it's an interesting thought. You know, Michael kind of stopping. But he's going to have to pay for his crimes, whether that be through death or be incarcerated again. Um, so it's a cool thought um, of, you know, what would bring Michael peace finally. But we're talking about evil here. So uh, I, I, I don't think we, we're ever going to get that. I don't think we should get that. Um, but it's definitely an interesting thought. All right. We're going to read a few more of these guys. And rem remember, I want to hear what one thing you want to see in the comments below. I'm going to read a few more of these because there's a lot of them. Um, here's someone saying, Halloween Kills denied me intense Lori Strode kicking ass action sequences, and that's all I ask is Halloween ends right this uh, right this wrong. I, like I mentioned earlier, I, I think we will probably get that um, Lori kicking ass. You know, in this movie, again, it might not be as intense, you know, as some of the Halloween 2018 scenes, but we'll get more of it um, than we got in Halloween Kills. Let's see. This person writes a movie coming to a conclusion. Uh, another person writes, Lori could get a happy ending or die with Michael. It wouldn't matter which they decide. Um, yep, we kind of touched on that. Um, this person writes a flashback as good as the one in Kills. Whew. Yeah, the, the flashback in Kills was so fucking awesome, guys. I, uh... I was so worried about it, and they knocked it out of the park. So then the question becomes, should they go back to that well? They already succeeded, in my eyes, so do they go back in? The selfish person in me, the selfish 1978 fanboy, wants that too. But the realist in me says, you, you did it, don't go back and ruin what you did. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, you guys remember I was so negative on the flashback before Kills, um, and I was wrong. So I'd, I'd be fine with it. This person writes, Lori and Michael die together. Yep. Um, here is a director of another, or of some other horror movies. Um, um, I'm going to name him because he's a, he's a good director. His name's Harrison Smith. He commented, uh, and he, check, he, check it out. He's got a lot of good movies, uh, a lot of them on Amazon and stuff like that. Harrison Smith, simple to the point here, a good script. I am with you, Harrison um, another person writes an ending, an ending. Um, I'd like to see Michael destroyed and fall into Dr. Loomis's grave. <laughs> um, here we go. Michael returning to his old behavior from 1978. I want him to stalk his victims longer before he attacks them. I am with you 100%. Do I think we're going to get that? No, but I'm with you guys. You guys know me. I love my stalking. Um, here is, I'm going to end it with this very, very interesting one, um, from someone I know on Twitter. This person wrote, what are my wishes for Halloween ends? I hope that they stick with the, you can't kill the boogeyman mantra and also put to bed the, is the shape supernatural debate by having the shape be literally consumed by swirling fall leaves and simply vanish into the breeze. And then this person put a picture of kind of the shapes upper torso and then the bottom uh, you know is consumed by the leaves that would be fascinating um, it would really drive home a couple of things it drive home the you know the fact that he's supernatural you know it would drive home some of the uh, 
theories that Halloween 1978 is really a ghost story, a ghost story more than a slasher movie. And it would... Hold on, let me see. It's consumed by, fall, by the leaves. Um, and it would be pretty damn visually exciting um, to see that. Will they do it? I... There's, there's no way they do it, but it's very interesting, and that could be that could be a future video on, on in store there. So I, I, I think that's a fascinating idea. So in a nutshell, guys, here's what I gathered. A lot of people want to see Lori kick an ass. They want to see the franchise end, you know, once and for all. Um, and we want some, you know, 1978 stalking scenes. I, I pretty much agree with all of that. You know, um, how they do it will be interesting, um, but but it was really cool to hear some people's thoughts on it. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section. Tell me one, one thing you want to see in Halloween Ends. Thanks for watching, everyone.